Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. This is your girl, Boss Moves at Thomasina 528. I'm just having my coffee right now. And uh, this is Monday. It's Monday. It's uh, March the 20th. This month is almost out of here. Time waits for no man. But today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, a lawsuit that's going on that I want to inform you all about. So get your pen and paper, or you don't have to get your pen and paper. If you're watching this, all you have to do is click, because what I'm about to share with you, I'm going to leave it in the uh, description box, make it simple and easy for you to find out if this is something you're interested in, or if you probably have some money coming to you. All right, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, lawsuit. As you all know, my name again is Thomasina Adams. I am a pre-lawsuit and litigation acquisition funding specialist. I specialize in helping individuals who are who have pending lawsuits. You may need some money for uh, to pay for your expenses, but you cannot get that money and extrapolate that from your attorney. You got to come through a person like myself, a company such as myself, to get those advance on your lawsuit while you're waiting for your case to settle. Uh, we do offer non-recourse funding, so that means that in the event that you do not win your case for whatever reason, you don't have to pay the money back. Another great thing is when you work with uh, me and you're dealing with me and my people, with my funders, is we are very competitive when it comes to the cost of doing business. We are the best in the industry, one of the best are in the industry, I think so myself. If you are an attorney and you have a portfolio of cases, and you need to, you know, extrapolate funds to continue to uh, expand on those cases, to buy more time, to do more research and development, to, you know, get the maximum for those cases. We also fund attorneys. We do it for our attorneys, and we also on the back end for those big super lawsuit, multi district litigation, class action suits that have been settled. And uh, the funds are in a holding with a holding company right now. We can get you up to 80% of those millions of dollars that you may have to wait months or even years to get. We can go ahead and get you those funds now. So, that's to tell you a little bit about myself and what I do. Now, let's share the good news for all of you out here in America. As you all know, what well, you probably don't know, but let me just tell you a little bit about some of these cases out here, Equifax has a uh, settlement right now where they are actually actually right now paying out people who credit and accounts have been compromised. So it's, it's called the Equifax Data Breach Settlement. And I'm going to leave the link in the bottom for you to click on. And all you have to do is put in your last name, and I believe it's the last six digits of your social security number, and it'll let you know if you qualify. It'll let you know right away if your account has been uh, compromised, there's some money coming to you. Now, uh, this happened in September 2017, uh, where, and I'm just going to read over here my little notes I have, where Equifax announced it's experience, it experienced a data breach, which impacted your personal information. Over 147 million people information was compromised. So, you may be one of those 147 million, and the link that I post in the description box, just click on that link, it'll take you right there. It's simple information to fill out, and uh, you fill that out, and you, you may, may be entitled to some compensation. Now, this is what, the, what you call a multi-district litigation case. And what's the difference between that and a class action? Some of you are going to get funds up to $20,000, some of you are going to get funds as little as five dollars it depends on your losses now i'm going to be as brief as i can so i can break it down for you when you have a class action lawsuit the class action is a whole class of people pretty much let's say it's a hundred people and let's just say it's a hundred thousand dollars that was won. it's going to be divided equally among those people in the class when you have a multi district litigation case is a little different you have a group of people under the same subject but each person in that group is going to be treated as an individual based on their losses 
or causes. So you may have one individual whose credit was compromised and it, they could have been identity theft. They probably spent uh, thousands of dollars to try to, you know, restore and get restoration to their name. They may get be have entitlements to ten thousand dollars or even twenty thousand dollars. You might have a person like myself, which my name popped up on there. There were some things that were on my report that I'm like, I don't know what who this is, what this is, and you know, which affected my credibility of getting approved for certain things. So I had to send out letters. You know, when you send out certified things by mail, FedEx or whatever, all those expenses, uh, I can recoup those in the time that I put into that. So let's just say I put 10 hours into the whole process. I may be entitled to $500, $200. I'm just saying, just to break it down so you understand. Because some of you are getting checks for, you have filed for these things, and you're getting monies right now for $5, $88, $100, $5,000. It is based on your losses, okay? So um, I just want you FYI so you can understand the difference because a lot of people will not file for these things because they don't understand the difference between a class action and a multi-district litigation situation where it's a whole class and you, you may be entitled for compensation. And if you really, really want to maximize on what you could possibly get, I would tell you to uh, consult with an attorney and, I, you know, I have a network of folks, you know, I can talk to some folks or you can just do your own homework and uh, get you an attorney to assist you with um, your situation should your name come up and find out what you could probably maximize on as far as collecting off of this uh, FFX data breach settlement. Okay, so that's going to be it today, guys. If you have any questions, go ahead, put them in a the comment. I'll be more than I'll, I answer everyone. I respond to everyone. Uh, again, I'm going to have the link in the description box. So you just click on that link, fill out imp uh, the application. It's really simple. It's really easy. There is going to be, so I can, you know, warn you, there's going to be a page before you can actually enter that is going to ask you about your losses. You need to fill that out, even if it's, you know, uh, $50, $100, and you just put in the description, you know, for, uh, you know, you had to send uh, pay to, uh, to get information out or you had to pay for postage or whatever in the middle of your dispute. Because it's, it's costing you, you know, you got turned down for whatever, for some credit that you, you could have got approved for because your information was compromised, okay? Or you can email me, which my email information will be in the description box with your questions, and I'll be more than happy to assist you with it, okay? All right, so you could get some money, have some money coming to you. Somebody out there been praying, you just never know. And I'm here to bring you uh, the 411 and bring you the tea on uh, lit uh, on uh, lawsuit and litigation uh, financing. I'm going to speak to you more about cases and settlements and just, you know, so that you be more informed. Thank you again for coming by my channel. Thank you for your love and support. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a super and winning day, and always put God first. Bye.